Meet Tubby Iron, my maxed Iron Man that I've been playing on the last four years. The goal is to build one of the most stacked Iron Man accounts in old school RuneScape. After recently obtaining the Tumic Strato, the Twisted Bow, and the Scythe of Vitor are the only two remaining items that I need out of the big three Mega Rares. Also, I still need to fight my way through the Inferno and get my first Infernal Cape. Furthermore, Varlamor is here, which also brought another best in slot cape locked behind a new difficult wave based challenge that I will need to conquer as well. Welcome to the beginning of the end. The Colosseum awaits, but before I start sending attempts, there are two very important items that I need to obtain. The Venator Bow and the Ceredoman Godsword. Both of these items are extremely strong in wave-based challenges, and as a cheese caper, I'm going to need all the help I can get if I want to obtain a Quiver and a Infernal Cape. Today, I'll be going for the Venator Bow, which is obtained from the Phantom Muspa. It drops Venator Shards at a rate of 1 in 100, and you need 5 of them in order to craft the bow. I've already done over 200kc at this boss because I needed a ton of Ancient Essence to charge the Imbued Hearts, but I still haven't received a single shard. Hopefully I can start getting some shards soon, cause if not, this grind might take a very long time. Anyways, it's time to farm the Grumbler. Let's go. First kill of the video. Let's start off with a cheeky Venator shard, shall we? Manta rays and a dragon plate skirt. I don't know if Jagux ever intended this tile to be a safe spot for this attack, but I'm really glad that it exists. It makes this part basically AFK. Molten Glass and Gold Ore. Damn, if I wasn't maxed, this would be some nice free XP. Iron Men have it so easy nowadays, we are so spoiled. Cannonballs are also such a nice drop. After all that point boosting from the last Kriara video, I am down tens of thousands of cannonballs, so it's nice to get some back from here. 201 personal best. Beautiful. The master speeder time is a sub 2 minute kill, literally 2 seconds off. It's definitely a skill issue, but an 8 way switch is a bit too much for me. But I want the best kills per hour so I can speed this grind up as much as possible so I can get to the Colosseum. I haven't done this boss since I got the Tumic in the Shadow, and I gotta say, the fight is so much more enjoyable. Beforehand, I was doing Bofa only kills because the Triton sucks here and it was pretty bad, but now the kills are flying by. I'm really happy I get to use the Dragon Hunter crossbow here. Obviously, Muspa is not a dragon, but it is capable of using Dragon Bolts, so I get to use Enchanted Sapphire Dragon Bolts for the Smite Phase. First, Frozen Cash. Show me something good? Aw oh, man. The Phantom Muspa drops frozen caches at a 1 in 25 rate. These are basically just mini loot boxes that give you something random from the Muspa's standard drop tables. They are capable of dropping Venator shards, but they are 5 times more rare from the frozen caches than the boss itself. This boss drop supplies so frequently. I remember I got the 10 kill trip combat task done a while back without even trying because I just kept getting supply drops. Hard clue drop, we take those. In all honesty, I forgot this boss even drops clues. Having three different ways to deal damage during the smite phase is a combat task. I got thralls, sapphire bolts, and the greater corruption spell. Should be a free task. And a free task it was. Versatile drainer completed. Easy elite task. An elite clue as well. Got a hard and an elite clue in the same trip. And that right there is a free master clue. Alright, let's knock out another combat task. For this one, I have to kill the Phantom Muspa without using run energy. On paper, it's pretty free. The only thing that you need to be able to do is the step back method. If you walk back 3 ticks before Muspa's melee animation starts, you take 0 damage from its attacks. It takes little practice to get down, but it is worth learning since you don't need Ancients to freeze the boss and you can use Thralls instead. Not sure why it didn't count this kill. Maybe it's because they ran into the instance? Alright, there we go. Can't escape completed. I will now go back to running. Double cannonball drop, nice. Why is the animation for the spell so weird? It looks so janky. 330k in standard loot's pretty insane. Must put Prince money. Another frozen cash? What's inside my loot box? Three ruined plate legs. Decent elk money. You know, I can't tell if I either love or hate this boss. Like, I'm not looking forward to killing this boss, but as I do the kill, I don't really mind it. I don't know, I'm pretty neutral when it comes to Muspa. I am loving these elite clue drops. Getting really lucky with them so far. Muspa dropping soul runes is another banger drop. I've said this a million times at this point, but using the Tumic in the Shadow just uses so many runes. Great power sure comes with a price, that's for sure. Oh man, I griefed this kill. Unlucky. Could have proc redemption, but I'm just bad at the game. Not worth getting chanced for it. Finally, man, there it is. The first Venator shard at 251kc. Over 2.5 times the drop rate for it, but whatever. I finally got one, and I'm happy.
I'm glad I got one, but I still need four more of these things. This grind is just getting started. I'm still probably going to be here for quite a while. I just hope the next one doesn't take another 250 kills. I need the luck to turn around. I really want to start sending some Colosseum attempts, it looks so fun. Once I got the Venator bow and the Cerodome and God Sword, it's go time. I did pull another Frozen Cache, which could have a shard. Watch this. 480 Chaos Runes. Guess I'll take it. The Muspa Log isn't anything special currently. Before that Venator shard, it was pretty ugly looking, but now it's not that bad. Last kill, I got 8 Renar Seeds, and this one, I just got over 400k in Alks. I'm telling you, man. Muspa's standard drops are so nice. I don't really mind going dry for this bow. I'm loving this loot. What the hell? Phantom Muspa Speed Chaser? 151 new PB. Damn, I just shaved off 10 seconds. That was a really nice kill. I'm really glad I got an imbued heart way back in the day during my Slayer grind. The Saturated Heart is unironically one of the most overpowered items in the game, especially when paired with the Tumic and Shadow. An infinite plus 13 magic boost that doesn't drain over time. It's just so good, man. Dragon Fruit Tree Seeds. I just know that's a rare drop. Been doing this for several hours at this point, but... I just hit 300kc. I should have 3 Venator shards, but I still only have 1. I know you can do a smite phase skip if you use a combination of heavy hitting specs like Dragon Claws with the God Sword of some kind, but I just don't think it's worth doing it for normal kills, cause 1, I don't think it would be consistent without a Void Waker, and 2, I have no idea how to do it and I don't feel like wasting time trying to learn it. The smite phase takes like 10 seconds normally, it's not that big of a deal. The Blowpipe is my best spec weapon for this boss. The wiki says a Dragon Warhammer is better, but I just don't see why it would be since it would probably hit zeros most of the time and even if it does land, the defense reduction would only work when ranging it. I don't know how much the Twisted Buckler helps for the smite phase, but it's better to bring it than wearing nothing in the offhand slot. It might actually give him max hit and it also gives him extra accuracy, so why not use it? I used to run here from the herb patch, but the Ring of Shadows Gorok Dungeon Teleport takes you straight here. So if you've done some duke kills and got that teleport tablet drop, you got yourself a really fast way to get to the Muspa. Dragon Med Helm, are you serious? Back in the day, this was one of the coolest helmets in the game. So nostalgic. I never understood why some bosses give XP multipliers. I'm honestly getting pretty significant mage and range XP per hour. Some kills give over 400k in loot, but this one barely gave me 33k. Hitting back-to-back -back Sapphire Bolt procs is so satisfying. Smite phase got nuked. Give me those soul runes. Even more soul runes. What is happening, man? Soul runes three drops in a row. Nice. It's nice that Muspa also drops Dragon Bolts. I'm definitely sustaining them, if not profiting them from this grind. Frozen Cash, show me the goods. Cannonballs, beautiful. 154 fight duration. I think if I just get insane hits, I can probably get around a 140, which I don't even think that's GM time. I think smite skipping might be required to get it. I'm not sure. I am actually the worst player in the game. There's literally a summer pie right there. What am I doing? Oh man. Wait, I actually rolled another hard clue in the same trip after already getting one. Minus one hard clue. Wow, the loot this kill is so bad. It doesn't even show the value. The supply drops here are so generous. There are 10 summer pies in the ground. I can feed a whole family with all this food. Slowly creeping up on 400kc, and still only one Venator shard. The game is simply a scam. One in a hundred does not seem right. First ancient icon of the video. I believe that is my third one. You can break down extra icons for some extra ancient essence, but the boss already drops so much that it's kind of pointless to do so. Double Molten Glass Drop. Screw seaweed runs and making your own glass. Just come kill Muspa instead if you need some crafting XP. I guess I'll take another elite clue. Been a while since I've seen one of those. Well, there's 400 Phantom Muspa KC. Been doing this boss on and off for the last week or so, and still only one shard. It is what it is. Can these Ents and Unicorns stop ragging me? Let me do my damn master clue. Oh man, I hate multi. 110 Toad Flex this trip. That's 110 Bruise right there. Nice. What even is the Phantom Muspa? It's such a unique design for a monster. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty hideous looking, but I think it's pretty cool. You can kind of see through it as well. I see, I'm uh, I'm not safe there. Mine is 250k. Dying here isn't even that big of a deal since you can get your money back in a few kills. Also 420kc. Frozen cash, thank you very much for the Venator shard. Snapdragon Seeds, that's pretty good.
Did I just PB? Oh, nice. 145. Six second time save. That was a really nice kill. I had some insane hits right until the double sapphire bolt proc into the blowpipe spec finisher. That was just beautiful. I am not beating that for a long time. It feels like the stars aligned for that kill. The scoreboard isn't looking too bad. 486 KC, 9 deaths, and 145 PB. By the way, 49 second global personal best is absolutely disgusting. How is that even possible? Come on, Frozen Cash, just give me the second Venator shard. It's 1 in 500 from these things. Never lucky, man. I may have not recorded the 500 KC milestone, but don't worry, nothing happened. I'm now sitting at 501 KC with still only one Venator shard to my name. Maybe there's a typo in the wiki. Instead of 1 in 100, it might be 1 in 1000. That's what it seems like so far. I am raking in tons of elks, herbs, runes, and a bunch of useful stuff, but I would like to be done with this boss. The second shard really can't come soon enough. At this rate, I'm going to be here for a month or so. Black dehyde body from a frozen cache. That's kind of a bummer. It feels like this master staff unit is going to screw me over for the rest of this account's existence. I've done hundreds of hard clues and still no Zami Helm. And this master clue is going to the floor. This guy said, put that ugly thing in your POH. Imagine being a Baron hater. The Baron is literally a top 5 pet. You can't change my mind. Wait, he has 2 KC with that pet. That is unreal. He got it the first KC after the quest. That is some ridiculous RNG. Holy shit. Redemption to the rescue. When in doubt, just flick redemption. I may have been out of food, but as long as you have some prayer pots, you are chillin'. Let's see if I could snipe a cheeky Zami full helm from this hard clue I pulled. Maroon full helm? That does not count, unfortunately. Uh, you thought I was gonna get a drop there, didn't you? I know I fooled you. The safe spot for the special attack is really good, but not when you stand over it and spawn spikes over it like an idiot before it even happens. All this must was frying my brain, man. There's simply no way I hit 600 KC and still only have one shard, right? Right, guys? Another hard casket. What do you got for me? A whole lot of nothing. 41, can I hit the 42? Wait, holy shit, I just smite skipped. Both hit like a truck towards the end, what the hell? 137 personal bust. That's crazy. I got Muspel low enough before it phased, and the last two hits did 83 damage, which was just enough to smite skip it. 553 kills later, and I did my first smite skip without even trying. Not too far off of the Grandmaster speedrun time as well. Easy game. Wait, I'm dead. Oh my god, I was watching something on my other monitor, and I look back and I'm praying mage instead of range. Never mind, the game is not easy. Hey, let's go, man. Finally. What a relief. 572 KC for the second Venator shard. Two out of five shards for the Venator bow. Only three more to go. It's a nice confidence boost to get this thing after so long, but there's still so much work to be done. Oops, I totally did not just get chanced. You did not see that. I'm smiting my enemy while being sculled. This is basically like PKing, right? Yeah, another master clue going to the floor. Sad. 600 KC coming up. Will I get lucky with the third Venator shard? Absolutely not. Two Venator shards, seven ancient icons, and 25 frozen caches, and 602 muspa kills. Not the greatest log, but it could be a lot worse. Some people might not even have a single shard at this point. I ran out of enchanted sapphire bolts, but good thing Muspa drops a ton of dragon bolts so I can just make a bunch more. Almost at 500 mil total XP? That will be a nice milestone. Wait, how did I just PB? I didn't even smite skip. Maybe you don't need smite skip for the GM time. Alright, whatever. 134 new personal bust. Somehow the Muspa caged itself around the spikes. Isn't that some kind of combat task? Huh, weird. Guess it didn't count. Three out of five, baby. Nice. Venator shard number three coming in at 689 KC. Only two more shards to go. The grind is slowly coming to an end. Let's keep it going. 500 million total XP has been achieved the same trip I got that shard. Today has been a good day. Halfway to the big one billion. 700 muspa KC. Ew, what a trash hard clue. 800 KC. Surely the fourth shard is coming soon. 
Also, I still think it's weird that cannonballs drop in quantities of 666. Wonder why they chose that. I started this grind about two weeks ago, and the finish line is nowhere in sight it seems. I've been getting these shards at a pretty abysmal rate. I mean, you never know though. I can finish this grind in the next 100 kills or the next 500. RNG is no memory, so getting spooned or going dry is always bound to happen. Yes, dude, one more to go! I'm one shard away from being a Venator bow owner. Now I am super motivated to get this done. The end is near. I can see the finish line! Oh my god, I got spooned! Finally, we are done! I'm free from the Muspa prison! What a miracle! Took like 30 KC to get the fifth shard. I can't believe it. Feels so damn good. Ah, man. I'll do one more kill for the back-to-back, -back, even though I don't need any more shards. Maybe I can get the pet. Nothing. Whatever. I'm out of here. Let's go make the bow. Do you wish to use five Venator shards to create the Venator bow? This process is non-reversible. Yes, give me the bow. There it is. Venator bow on the Iron Man. I am looking like an absolute beast. I'm so happy, bro. I am now one step closer to entering the Coliseum. Let's end it there. It has been a long two weeks, but the must grind has come to an end. Towards the end of the grind, I was getting bored of it, but overall, I had fun. must is not a bad boss. Now let's see what the loot tracker has to show. The tracker is missing 10 kills, but in 861 KC, I made a massive 175 million GP, and an extra 3.9 mil from the frozen cash is totaling up to around 179 million GP. Muspa's drops are overall extremely beneficial for Iron Man. Alks, seeds, herbs, runes, and ores. Definitely some very nice loot. I did waste one hard clue drop unfortunately, but other than that, I was doing all the clues or turning them into masters. With the Venator bow in my possession, only one big item remains before I start the Colosseum grind. I will see you all soon at Commander Zilliana in search of the Ceridome and Godsword. Take care.